Can you see us? Sunday morning, 3.08 a.m. The track is looking not as foggy as normal. At least it's not windy, it's not cold. Um, I'm gonna try running on the road as well. But for now, a couple of miles on the track. <laughs> yep, and the track in the middle of the night. The track is in here somewhere. So we're just running the perimeter. Actually not that bad, apart from it looking like a horror movie. Okay, three more, three more hours of this. Oh, that's, I don't know, four miles. I've been total zombie run. Ooh, meaning my legs are running, but my brain is done. Ooh, it's as foggy as this weather. Oh, so close. Come on. Oh, here we go. Three, two, one. No, yes. Oh. 26.2 in three hours, 44 and 43 seconds. So full marathon in just under 3.35. Deep is finishing up as well. Half on the track, half on the road, which has a lot of little short hills. Oh, well, good effort. Next time we do the full distance, it will be on Isla. 23 miles. <laughs> oh. It looks like Deep has put on about 20 years in age. <laughs> Just been collecting some moisture. 337 for 23 miles. Not bad. It was hard. Psychologically hard just running around in the dark, looping around. It's like running on a treadmill in a submarine or something. It is late. It's 4 a.m. And I must admit I'm very tired. Enthusiasm for today's run is about uh, a one out of five. Oh, yeah, absolutely had to cut that workout in half. Felt rough from the start, knew I was tired. Oh, thought, well, let me get warmed up. Two miles warm up felt rough. Went into the intervals, first one of 10. Pace was good. I was running 6.40 pace on my half mile intervals, even into the 6.30s, but never did they uh, feel good. Every one was a real chore, nothing felt fresh, and each one got progressively harder and harder. Uh, so cut it off at five instead of 10. Deepa is still out there powering away, and uh, maybe she'll feel better than I do, but sometimes you just have to stop. And today was one of those days. Nothing bad, just tired. Ah. <laughs> well done. That's the step goal. Mm. You did all 10 reps? Yeah, 10 reps. But, but eight. I put it up by the arm. I might have got two more. I, two more. I, I wanted to give up after two. <laughs> I know, these videos are boring. It's just us sitting in a dark car. Uh, it's 3 a.m. at the track for our Thursday run. Yeah, that was a grinder. Deep is still finishing off. Glad that one's over. I think I did pretty well though. Still felt and we've got a record. Oh, shaved a little bit off that half marathon. 30 seconds faster than last week. Yeah, uh, psychologically hard, just grinding away on the track. And uh, 
not quite as fresh as last week legs are a little stiff still a bit fatigued but you know we're about to start tapering so which is good I'm starting to get a little weary of the training so working hard so I actually did 14 miles at yeah 658 pace today and a 153 heart rate Bam and three I've done but I kept going, not enough power, not enough energy, very tired. 12 and a half miles, 8.54 pace. Yeah, 8.54, slow. Sun's coming up, better get home before we turn to dust. So that was a hard run for you today. I think Deep has crossed over into the overtraining zone where every run gets slightly worse than the last time you did it. So I'm guessing her prediction is not going to be better this week. Could be worse again. Actually it slipped last week and this week. Well we'll find out in a minute when I do the numbers but uh, that just means that the best training you can do is no training. I mean literally just skip days until you feel fresh and recovered again. That's normally my problem over training, but I'm, I've managed it a little better this time. But uh, less is more, I think, for deeper in the next week. Well, I think the numbers back up what we were feeling all week, and that is that we are tired and overtrained. And really, the only thing to do is to do less and recover. Um, let's start with me then. I did uh, fewer miles, just a, a few fewer. My pace was a bit slower, mainly because I did a slower long run, but that's okay. My heart rate was also lower. My average beats per mile was slightly slower, but about the same. And my weight is the same. Somehow my marathon prediction squeaked uh, a minute lower, but I think that 3.9, 3.10 pace is still very optimistic. But uh, we'll find out in two weeks when we do our final speed test and heart rate check. And that will be our numbers for the actual race. Anyway, for Deepa, she definitely put in a lot of work this week. Um, did this, actually, she had slightly more miles, but her average pace was quite a bit slower. Her heart rate was a little better, but her overall beats per mile was quite a bit slower, going from 13.99 to 14.48 beats per mile. Um, uh, weight's going in the right direction, and that probably added to the fatigue by having to cut calories. And so her marathon prediction has slipped another couple of minutes. She just needs to do less um, and wait till she feels fresh again. So no disaster, but we are a bit overtrained. And that's the way it goes. With three weeks to go, this is pretty perfect, though, because now it's time to taper off the running and uh, back off the miles and the effort and get ready for race day. Thank you.